Hello, hello, and welcome to something I've been meaning to do for a while. What you're looking at on screen right now is the Twitch banner that I've been using for a while. For a long time, what I was doing was every time I played a new game, the Twitch banner updated to include that artwork. What I've been wanting to do is change it so that it instead only has things for games that we have beaten, give representation to our accomplishments. So... Uh, what we've got is... Ooh, hang on, let me fit that to screen. Oh, wait, no, 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 I know why that's looking weird. Yeah, there we go. Um... So, sorry, hang on, I'm just getting things set up a little bit right. Oh, hang on, hang on. <laughs> professional, professional here. I want it on this screen, because that's the screen I see better on. So that means I just need to... Sorry, I didn't do a... Oh, I didn't do a test beforehand, I didn't realize this wouldn't look right. Uh, transform. And we're just gonna... There y'all go. <laughs> that that looks great. Yeah. So there we go. I want to update the Twitch banner. I want to make it look, you know, I want it to have represent the things that I want it to. You all know what I'm trying to say. Uh, so I have my own music on in the background while I work. So all of you feel free to boot up your own. This is going to be a nice little chill thing um so let me go look at my channel and look at what series are officially the finished ones hmm what series are currently finished on the channel so the first thing finished on channel, hold on. All right, let's quickly take all of the sprites. Let's just hide the sprite layer for the moment, actually. I want to do some things to change the text. I want to remove all of this and just have it be Ollie Rick. Um, Cause you know, I, I've expanded to a little bit more social media and stuff and I, I feel like all the extra text not is not necessary. Um, all right, now let's bring back the sprite layer. And we're going to cut all of that. And throw it onto the saved layer. Which is old sprite artwork that I had removed. So this is all stuff that used to be on the banner at previous points. So, you know, just that so I can hold on to my sprite work if I want to get it back for some reason. And now I want to remove, I want to take this and put it onto the sprite layer because Portal was the first game we finished on this year on the channel. And I feel like it still deserves a solid representation. Um, what was the next thing? Old World Blues was the next really big series going on the channel that got had some concluded stuff. So we're going to take the Vault Dweller version of me. Oops, I'm on the wrong layer. And we're going to save them over to here. And that represents how much we play Old World Blues on the channel. The next finished thing was the Death in Taxes series. So. Oop. Huh. Reference from the last time I was doing something. Let's go ahead and get the Grim Reaper me. Oop. Again, wrong layer. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Mm. 
Let's just grab that and bring it over to the sprite layer. And we'll have it sit next to Portal Me. Oh, we stole a piece off of someone else. The Among Us Me's backpack. There we go. Then it was Turnip Boy was the next thing we finished. So let's go ahead and get Turnip Me. And to keep... Hold on, let's... Move that down. In order to keep the balance, we're going to put them... Uh... Over here. And hang on, I'm actually going to move this down. I want it to look like they're standing on the line. There we go. I know it doesn't look like they're all staying on the line because the way I designed... Actually, you know what? Hang on. Let's actually change that a little bit. Let's make the pieces actually all stand on the line. So we're doing a little bit of modification of old sprite artwork too. Hmm. How do I wanna... Maybe this won't work because it was designed fundamentally to be... Hang on, let's try it on this side. This side should be easiest. Because that's all it takes. That being said, though, that does make me feel like this leg's a little fat. There we go. And I think, hold on. Let's make these boots a little bit more flat on the ground. Let's just see if this looks... Okay, once I've done a little bit of work to it. Oh, that looks kind of okay. I think the leg's a little off. Hold on. Yeah, I think that looks okay. Uh, next I need the Poyo Poyo version of me. So they're gonna go up here. And hold on, I know that this is a fit... These are both finished games. Oops. For the channel. So we're going to bring them up to here. Uh, 
where we're going to talk into I know that uh, this was a game that we finished pretty early, but I don't actually have... It was a one-video thing. So it doesn't have a, a full-on position going on. Oop. I ripped off a piece of my hair. Uh, edit. Flip horizontally. All right. Next, we need the the world of Gumi. Where is it? There it is. Another part of why I want to switch to only doing the sprites after I finish the series is I feel like I can uh get more fitting sprites. In fact, I really don't like that sprite, so we're gonna make an entirely new thing to represent the world of Gumi. Something rel relatively simple. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and and let's hide the saved layer. Go to the sprite layer. Open the reference layer, and we're going to make a goo ball me. All right, and yeah, let's start with a uh, like red. Oops. Oh. And I'm gonna skip to another song on my music playlist I have going. Let's use a uh like a, a blue for the eye space currently. Oops. Don't worry, I'm not just, like, recreating this. Like, uh, you're, you'll see where I'm going with this. It's been a while since I did a little art stream. Okay. Now let's get back to the rud. I'm just re like tracing over this to get a base to start me off. There we go. So there's our starting point. Uh, let's go ahead and steal the eye color from here to create some uniformity. Pupil color as well. We're just going to go ahead and do some little circle tool circles. And now Ready for the really good part? We're going to 
One. Get, or hang on. Uh, yeah, it's gonna, we're going to give it a big old pair of glasses. Hold on. So that's the first thing. Then the next thing I'm gonna do is the goo's gonna be my hair color. Hang on, actually. This is the base color. This is the highlight. This is going to be the the lower bit. That's not done yet, don't worry. Now what I gotta do next is uh steal his hair. Not do that. I love this. <laughs> oh, Goo Mommy is the best thing. This was a very good decision for me to make. Hold on, um... Oh.
Yeah, I need to, um... I love it. It's perfect. So there's Goop all me. Ah, uh, it's gonna go on the left because the left feels like the more disbalanced side currently. Ooh, that's something I want to change. Hold on. There we go. I... Okay, I think whatever you tried to tell me to draw got censored. <laughs> Gooball me is a very good addition. Uh, Alright, now then came the Piku Niku version of me, so let's just throw them in over here. Uh, and then we need the minute version of me. Which is right here. Alright, and now let's bring that over to the sprayler. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. They both have four. But this side definitely feels like it needs the... God, all of the Goobermies are all fucking lined up, huh? And I never got a sprite arc for work for unpack it, unpacked or overcooked, both of which were finished. That being said, from the saved end, I want to, one, grab this. I want to keep this in to plug the gas network. And I also want to grab... Hang on. Where is it? There it is. Hold on. The Hero Infinite logo. Let's make it nice and big and we're going to make a sprite art of it. Ooh, those should be, that should be on the reference layer. Hold on. We're going to uh, use different colors primarily for when we start off. So we're going to draw a little green frame. Now we're going to switch to a two sprite. Oh, shoot, I did it wrong. There we go. Maybe green wasn't the best color. Let's go with, uh, yeah, red, because it'll pop. I think it should make it three the pixels, not two, not two. Hang on, I know what the problem is.
Let's stick with four, actually. Let's use a consistent four pixel style. There we go. And now we copy this to the other side. And then we copy both to the top. Maybe four pixels was too thick. Hmm. Oh no, it looks fine. Also, hang on, I'm realizing I don't need to do all the layers. Ah no, it was definitely too thick to go with four. Hang on, what am I doing? This, the, the, my program is tools built in for what I'm trying to do. There we go. And then flip vertical. There we go. Ooh, I messed up something, huh? Ah, oh, goddammit. Goddammit. What am I missing? Oh! Duh. There we go. There we go, and now we've got the Gas and Arc and Hero Infinite Reps. 
Oops. Um. So now getting back to the YouTube repping. I need to make something for unpacking and something for overcooked to make sure that everything is rep represented properly. Hmm. Which man, when I switch it to just this, like, we're we're losing a lot of artwork, huh? Because there's just a lot of game. Oh, oh, duh! I need my chief makes me play Homestuck. I mean, read Homestuck. Cause yeah, we haven't finished it, but it fucking deserves representation. And even though I didn't finish Delta Ruin, it deserves a rep. Because the only reason I didn't finish it was because of technical problems. As for everything else on here, they're good without being represented yet. I feel like Art Me. You know, no. Yeah, let's keep Art Me, because that, that is a good reference to, like, my roots on social media and internet stuff. Everything else here. Ooh. Let's grab that one, too. And let's grab the snake me. Yeah, there we go. Put that jumping over it. I want to have this be one of the source ones. I feel like I need uh, a little bit more weight on the right, so let's uh, move Goo Ball Me over there. Alright. So that's looking good so far. Uh, so next, we need to, yeah, now let's start making the new sprites I keep saying we're going to make. Unpacking. So I know what I want to use. Let's go ahead and bring up the reference layer stuff. Let's uh... Let's just clean all this out. That's an awful shot. Hold on. Yeah, there we go, that looks a little better. I feel like that's not a totally... 
crisp screenshot, though. Maybe it is. Hang I just want to use this as a piece of reference more than anything. Alright, let's uh... Start tracing out. I'm, I, I'm not just going to perfectly recreate this thing once again. <laughs> Feel the need to specify that. But I need a reference for what I plan on doing. Oh, I'm on the wrong layer. Hmm. Yeah. Let's. Hold on. Where's my. Give me a second. Oh. All right. Okay, I'm using this as partial reference, but what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to recreate a toy that I own. And I want to have it sat down facing straight on at camera, I think. There we go, that looks good. And let's... There we go. And we're just going to make half the body. Oops.
Okay. There we go. Okay. Yes. Yes, this is looking great. I'm so happy with it. Okay, now I just need the... I feel like, hold on. There we go. This looks better. No, hang on. I see what I was doing wrong. No, wait. Here we go. I want it all to be the shades of uh, of blue. You know, I want it to be monochromatic. Blues and whites and blacks. You know, basically representing like ends of a big old spectrum. It's my bunny toe. A toy, to my bu my bunny toy that I have. I feel like with how sweet and intimate of a game Unpacked was, 
cre recreating one of my own toys. Oh, you know, I just realized how fucking tiny I made it in the wider scheme. Hold on a, sh a second. Shit. Uh, hang on. I was so focused on, like, the way I uh, looked, I made it tiny. Well, um, actually, now that I think about it, it being tiny makes sense. Never mind, I'm happy with that. Oh, that looks a little wonky now that I look at it, though. Okay. Flip horizontal. Okay. Now what it needs though is a little bit more shading. How do they do shading? Okay. Hmm. Actually, you know, hey, I think I see what I, I need. I'm using too pure of a white. There we go. By leaning a little bit into the blue, it, it feels a little less sharp on the eyes to me. So yeah, there we go. To represent unpacking, we recreated one of my own uh, toys. Oh, oh my god, how am I this stupid? Hold on. I'm missing an important part. They have a little bow tie. There we go. Yay! So that's the unpacking representation. And now for overcooked. I mean, pretty simple thing what I gotta do. Come on. We're gonna make a little overcooked version of me. God, most of the me's now are little bean versions of me, I'm realizing. Maybe that height? No, that'll be too big. It won't have the aesthetic it needs to have. Yeah, that looks about right. Hang on. Not sitting in place where I just realized. There we go.
Yeah, that looks about right. So now it's going to be... Oops. Give me the circle tool. All right, and now let's go with yellow for the head. There we go. Fucking come on. Okay. Um, now we're gonna boom, boom, boom. All right, let's uh, use a nice, uh, let's go with pink for this. Yes, this is looking great. All right, now let's move this back on. There we go. Oh, uh, hang on. Let's 
so we've got the start off for it. I don't think we need the reference layer anymore. Edit, flip, horizontal. There we go. Double the size of my facial features. Oh, it didn't. Save the increase in size stem. I want to capture like the exaggeratedly large facial features these characters have, you know. Oh! I can't believe I made that mistake. I put the- I layered the body on top of, uh... The thing wrong. There we go. Now we're gonna... Let's move this to the whip layer real fast.
Okay. There we go, just like this. Oh, I see. Hang on, I missed the thumb. Okay, there we go. Okay. Capturing the look pretty good, I think. Oh, thank you for the follow, uh, Nicomitz TV. I appreciate it. Thank you, I appreciate it. Hmm. Uh, creating representations for the banner of all the games that have been beaten on the channel. So. Oh, whoa, whoa. okay, I forgot that was still on the reference layer. Okay. Yee, I'm happy with how it's coming out. Let's go get, where is it? This color from over here. Ah, I see something I forgot to do. I want to also... Just like that. There we go. Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't have done the, the shading there that I did. Oh, uh, I appreciate it. I don't do art. I used to do art a lot more previously on the channel, but I sort of like slowed down with it. But my plan is now, every time I beat a game on the channel, I'm going to do a piece of sp uh, bright art of it. I kind of love how goofy I've made uh, my character look, honestly. Makes me think of that one South Park character, the 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 mentally retarded kid who's like a bu the mentally retarded bully from South Park. That's what it looks kind of like. The one who always has his nose upturned. Okay. Um... Let's go ahead and there we go. 
just like that. I feel like we need that there to make it feel more round. Yeah, okay. And then bring this over here. I feel like without the nose is better. Oh yeah, uh, that was back. Hang on. So there's a bunch of old hidden sprites right now. Uh, all of the stuff because before I would do it every single time I played a game. Uh, but now I want to instead put representation for every single series that I beat. Because I feel like that's better. Also, my old Pokemon Fusion stuff I did. The, the, these are just the selection of my favorite ones. And I still have the... the, the bat. Do I not still have the Batman one up? And I want to keep him in existence. Yeah. Ooh. I don't want to get rid of this guy. He is the old mascot of my old sp pixel art tumbler. Yeah, I used to do a bunch of Pokemon fusions. What layer are you on? What layer is this guy on? Oh, he's on the whip layer. Okay. I feel like I set the face up too high. Hold on. Now let's uh bring him to the correct layer, uh, down to the sprite layer real fast. I think I want to make, I want to change the way the glasses look on all the different versions of me. There we go. I want to give a bunch of them. Here we go. Hang on. Let me steal the glasses off this one.
There we go. Yeah. I, I think that's a much needed update to do onto a bunch of my sprites is make the glasses look nicer. Because way back, a lot of the what I did was like basically me copying off of uh old Pokemon's like like Pokemon trainer sprites but I want to make it look a little bit more unique there we go give them more unique eyes across the board I mean, a lot of it was a lot of, like, uh, basically copying the pixels and editing the colors and some of the positioning a tiny bit for, like, the hair and other things and mishmashing different sprites together. Don't be afraid to trace, uh, if you're trying to practice sprite art. Like, like, straight up, I just made circles over this guy to give me the idea of what I was doing. Tra a lot of people shit all over tracing, like, oh, if you trace, it's cheating, but no. Like, even if you look back at old classic Disney shit, they rotoscoped everything. Like, artists have always traced, it's nothing to be ashamed of. The problem is when people, like, the problem is the distinguishment between, between tracing and copying. You don't want to just straight up copy somebody else's art. <laughs> oh, I love how bad that looks. Hold on. Alright, I'll see ya. You have a good night. There we go, that looks good. And I believe with that, we've now created a representation for every finished game. And the really, as well as the really big running series that I wanted to give attention to. I think I want to move this goober over to the side, though. Okay, um, now give me a second because we're not done with the art stuff yet. Yeah, there we go. Feels a little empty, but I, I think as we do more games and over time, this will just get bigger and bigger. Uh, now give me a second. Um, where is... There we go. So now what we're going to do... Hang on, let me open up the other thing too. Okay. So this is the YouTube banner. Uh, oh, that's the PNG version, hold on. There we go. That's the S sprite that we need. So let's delete all of the sprites off this one. And get rid of these. 
And then it's as simple as copying the sprites here and pasting them over here. But that's not all we're going to do. Because I want to open up the go image guide. This guy's got to get moved down to stay in alignment. I want to move this down. Oops. This down to here. And the gas network link down to here. And we're going to take little old Jiggly Man. And he's going to hide off to the side. Uh, so only people with a big enough device can see him. Ooh, I missed part of his foot. Yeah, there we go. Because this is what's viewable on a phone, then tablet, desktop, yeah. I like that the only desktop gets to see the tip of the blade on the YouTube end of things. And now if we go over here, this is the Tumblr one. Okay, now this time it's going to be a little bit harder. Because this is the Tumblr banner, which is a lot more limited in space. Oh shit, I pasted all of that onto the text layer. So this is what it displays on the Tumblr account for people who are looking at it on mobile. And then over here. Here we go. And there's that. All right. Um. And actually, now I want to, I need a Twitter banner, don't I? Does Twitter banner, Twitter banners are a thing, right? Yeah. Yeah, so I need 1,500 by 500.
I mean, this is going to be pretty easy, I think. Let's copy the Twitch one. Yeah, hang on. So let's start with uh, the loop. Nope, oh, hang on. Eh. Hang on. There we go. Let's locate the middle point. Oh shit, I have it all in one layer. Shit. Let's just, uh, do this. No, I know what I was going to do isn't going to work. So. That's 5. That's 10. That's 20. That's 40. And that's 80. Now let's copy that all up to the top. Our measuring rod here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it's a 20 point ruler. Okay. But now I need to find the center point top and top down wise. Two, five. So that's twenty. That's 40. That's 80. One, two, three, four, five. Uh. 
One, two, three, four, five. All right, now we got to center this. And we've got it as it needs to be. There we go. Boom. Let's merge that down so that they're just the same layer. What the fuck? Why is it? I'm copying the whole layer. It's like, why is it copying so weirdly? <laughs> His leg like, gets cut off on this end too. All right. There's the Twitch banner that we need. All right, I think, or the the Tom, to, not Twitch, uh, Twitter. So I think with that, um, we are done streaming for the night, I think. Uh, next time I stream, assuming it's not like a, a stream that I do with someone else, next solo stream is going to be Night in the Woods. So be sure it's something better for that when it happens. Oh. And I will see all of you later. Ta-ta! Oh yeah, I forgot. I was recording for YouTube as well. Uh, the, those of you watching this on YouTube, I don't fucking know what day this is gonna go up. Check out other content that's going up, but there'll be end cards right around now. Bye!